Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to host your own TeamSpeak server. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on server and you now need to select your version of Windows. I've got a 64-bit version of Windows, which means I need to download the 64-bit version of the server files. You then need to click download and you then need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now open up the zip folder and we now need to uncompress this folder. All you need to do is simply drag this folder out of the zip folder onto your desktop or anywhere else on your PC. Once that's finished unzipping, you can now open up the TeamSpeak server folder and we can now run the TeamSpeak server.exe. You then need to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you are happy, you can go ahead and press accept. You then need to allow TeamSpeak on your firewall. If you are happy, you can go ahead and press allow. But just remember, if you don't allow TeamSpeak on your firewall, people won't be able to connect to your server. You will now have a window that looks like this. You will have a login name, a password, and an API key, which is a very long code. You will also have a server admin privilege key. I'm going to go ahead and open up a notepad just so I can copy all these details across. Once you have finished copying all the information across into notepad, as you can see I have here, we can then go ahead and press close. You will now notice you have the TeamSpeak server icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, basically indicating that the server is running. We can now go ahead and open up TeamSpeak. You now need to click on connections and we now need to click on connect. You now need to type in localhost and you then need to give yourself a nickname. I'm just going to call myself computer sluggish and then press connect. As you can see, I have now connected to my server and I now need to type in that privilege key. Once you have copied the privilege key, you can then go ahead and paste the privilege key in and press OK. That would have been the last code in Notepad. We then need to press OK. And as you can see, I am a server admin, which means I can do lots of stuff in the server. For example, I can add a new channel by right clicking on the top here and then go and create channel. And I could just call this test and go OK. I don't know if you noticed, but there's lots of different settings as well I can do in the channel. I can add a password, a topic, a description, permissions. There's just so much you can do. I can also right click on the very top where it says TeamSpeak server and I can actually go on to edit virtual server and I can then give the server a name. For example, I can call it computer sluggish server and then we can also register a nickname if we want. I can also add a welcome message saying welcome to CS Computer Sluggish and press OK. We can also choose a maximum clients and there's lots of other different options as you can see. And that is how easy it is to create a TeamSpeak server. Just remember though, the address I used was my local host, which means I'm on the same computer connecting to the server. If your friends or family want to connect your TeamSpeak server, then they will need your public IP address. But you need to remember with the public IP address, if you do not have a static IP address, then your IP address could change which means every time your friends try and connect to the server, they will need your new IP address. So it's always worth having a static IP address when hosting a TeamSpeak server. Also, another thing, you may have to look at your router options because you may have to do a little bit of port forwarding to allow everyone to connect to your TeamSpeak server. Normally, you can look on the back of your router and it will have an IP address that you can connect to it. Type in the admin user and password and then you will be able to simply do some port forwarding. And that is it. 
I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.